Hello friends, this video on locomotion and movement part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about the types of the skeleton system. Now the skeleton system is broadly divided into two types axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. So what is the meaning of axial skeleton? The term axial skeleton is derived from the word axis. So this is that type of skeleton which is along the main axis of the body. So this is along the main axis of the body. So let us suppose this is the human body. So which is the main axis of the body? You can say roughly this is the main axis of the body. So those parts of the skeletal system which are located along the main axis of the body are forms the axial skeleton. So what all forms a part of the axial skeleton? The skull. If you see the skull is located along the main axis. The vertebral column. So this is your vertebral column which is located at the back. Sternum. So this portion, the chest bone, that is sternum and the ribs. So all these form the axial skeleton because if you see they are all located along the uh, main axis of the body. Whereas what is appendicular skeleton? Appendicular skeleton is the one which are not located along the body's main axis. For example, the limbs. If you look at the hands or the legs, they are not located along the main axis, but they are also equally important. These bones are also important. So all the limbs and the girdles. What is girdles? Girdles are those parts which connect the limbs to the axial skeleton. Now, the appendicular skeleton and axial skeleton, they are just two divisions of the skeletal system. But they also need to be connected to each other. If you see, the entire skeletal system, they are all connected to each other. So, girdles help to connect the limbs with the axial skeleton. For example, these limbs get connected to the axial skeleton. Again, the limbs get connected to the axial skeleton. So these portions are known as the girdles. So where the limbs connect to the uh, axial skeleton. So now we will talk about each of these part of the skeletal system in more detail. For example, we'll first talk about skull. We will see which are the bones which form the skull. So let us start our discussion with skull. Now there are total 22 bones which form the skull. So the entire skull is made up of 22 bones. Now it is composed of cranial bones and facial bones. These 22 bones can, are divided into two, part, two parts. One is the cranial bones, the other one is the facial bones. Cranial bones forms the cranium of the brain. So cranial means basically this portion, the head portion is formed by the cranial bones. So there are total 8 cranial bones whereas the facial bones that is the front part of the skull. The term facial is derived from face. So the front portion, face is nothing but the front portion of the skull. So it has a total of 14 bones. So 14 plus 8 that is 22. So cranial and facial bones together form 22 bones which form the entire skull. So let us first look at the cranial bones. So here in this picture we have shown the cranial bones or the part of the cranium in colors so that you know which part of the skull forms the cranium. So these bones together form the skull. First we will talk about the frontal bone. So which is the, where is the frontal bone? This blue region which you see that is the frontal bone and this bone forms the forehead and the anterior roof of the skull. So this is the front roof of the skull, the forehead part is made up of the frontal bone. Next is the parietal bone. So where do we have the parietal bone? The pink region which you see here that is the parietal bone. So where is it located? So if you see this parietal bone forms the top portion as well as the sides of the cranium. So there are two parietal bones which exist. One on this side and the other one on the other side. Like we are looking at this from one side, right? This is just a side view of the skull. So there is one piece of parietal bone on this side and there is another piece on the other side. So a total of two parietal bones exist. But frontal bone is just one. So one single piece of bone for the forehead. 
The third one is the sphenoid bone. So where do we have the sphenoid bone? This small portion that is yellow in color. This is the sphenoid bone. So where is it located? It forms the base of the cranium. So if you see the base portion, the lower portion of the cranium is formed by this sphenoid bone. Next one is the temporal bone. It is again located at the sides of the skull. So here you can see it in green color. So this is the temporal bone. So this also is on this side and there is another one on the other side. So here this small portion of sphenoid bone which you see is just one piece. It is not located on this side. It is basically the floor. So it is the side view which we are seeing but actually it is the floor throughout. But the temporal bone and the parietal bone, they, they are the external bones which we are seeing. So that is why they both are two in number. That is one temporal bone on this side and the other one on the other side. So they form the side of the skull and they are located above the ears. So somewhere here you have your ears. So just above the ears are the temporal bones. Next is the occipital bone. Here you can see that in brown color. This is occipital bone. And where is it located? Towards the back of the skull. So this is again just one single piece. The entire back, back lower portion of the skull formed by the occipital bone. And the last one is the ethmoid bone. And where is this ethmoid bone? It, this forms the floor of the cranium. It is... I'm sorry, where is it? Here you can see a very small portion here, if you see. So this is the ethmoid bone. So it, it denotes the end of the cranium rather, you can say. So beyond this point starts the facial bones. So it, it is located at the center of the face, just behind the nose. If you look at the point from where your nose starts, somewhere here, the nose starts, right? So just behind that part is located this ethmoid bone, right? So sphenoid and ethmoid, please understand the difference. Sphenoid forms the entire base, entire floor of the cranium. The entire floor is formed by sphenoid. And ethmoid is just a small piece of uh, the cranium which is located behind the nose. So basically, uh, sphenoid forms the, you can say it forms the posterior roof of the skull and the ethmoid forms the floor of the skull. So ethmoid forms the floor of the skull and sphenoid forms the posterior roof of the skull. So this is how the entire skull is made up of. Now I said how many bones are present in the skull? Eight. So how many are there? One plus two, three plus one, four plus two, six plus one seven and plus one eight. So you have a total of eight cranial bones. So now let us look at the facial bones. So let us look at the set of bones which together form the face of the or the front portion of the skull. So the first one is the lacrimal bone. So this is the smallest bone which is present on face. And where is it located? It is located behind the nasal bone or you can say lateral to the nasal bone. So where is the lacrimal bone? So it is somewhere here. So this is the portion where the lacrimal bone is located. So that is why you will be able to see it from the side view because it is located lateral to the nasal bone, the bone of the nose. So this is the lacrimal bone and there are two lacrimal bones, one on each side. So there are two lacrimal bones. The next one is the mandible. Where is mandible? The brown portion which you see here. So this is mandible. So mandible is that bone which forms the lower jaw bone. So if you see, this is the lower set of teeth and this is the lower jaw. So it also forms the chin and the sides of the face. So this is the chin and these portions are the lower sides of the face. So it is just single piece of bone. Next is maxilla. So where is maxilla? This portion of the bone, that is the upper jaw bone, that is maxilla. 
So if you see here, this is not a single piece, rather two pieces, which is separated at, in between. So uh, uh, along a line parallel, parallel along the nose, it is divided into two parts. So there are two pieces of bones for maxilla, one on each side of the face. Next is the nasal bones. Where are the nasal bones? Here. The bones which form the nose, this white portion which you see here, these are the nasal bones and they are also two in number. So if you see this is one, this is one. So nasal bones are also two in number. Next is inferior nasal conche. So what is this inferior nasal conche? These are thin bones that form the sides of the nasal cavity. So this is the entire nasal cavity, right? So these two bones, the nasal bones are the like the front bones, which you can see from the front of the face. But when you look at the nose from the sideways, you see that there are two bones on the sides as well. So they are inferior nasal conche and they are also two in number. The palatine bones, where are the palatine bones? They are at the back of the roof of mouth and they are also two in number. So if you see this mouth, so it is the back of the roof of mouth. So which is, I mean, I cannot show this to you in this diagram, but if you open your mouth, the roof of your mouth, so behind that roof, you have two sets of bones, one on each side, one on this side and the other one on this side. They are the palatine bones. The zygomatic bones which are displayed in yellow color, so these are zygomatic bones and they also exist in two on each side of the face and they form the cheeks so if you see your cheek bones right if you you if you want you can feel it on your face just try to touch uh, the region at your cheeks you will be able to feel the presence of a hard bone so that is the uh, zygomatic bones and it forms the most prominent part of the cheek and then the next one that is the vomer so where is the vomer bone? Vomer bone is a single bone which is located at the nose tip. So this is vomer. So you have it here. So here also at the nose tip, it is a triangular shaped plate-like structure which is present at the floor of the nasal cavity. So if you see, not exactly the tip because as I said, the tip is made up of cartilage because of which it is movable. But at the center of the nose, if you see the floor again is made up of the uh, a triangular shaped single pieced bone that is called the vomer bone. So all these bones together form the facial bones. So how many are there? 2 plus 1, 3 plus 2, 5 plus 2, 7 plus 2, 9 plus 2, 11, plus 2, 13, plus 1, 14. So you have total 14 facial bones. So now you understand how the cranial bones and facial bones together form the skull. So now besides the facial and the cranial bones, there are some other bones which are also included as a part of the skull. And what are those bones? One is the ear ossicles. Now inside the ear, there are some very tiny bones present. Now since we cannot exclude ears and we cannot take it separately, so most of the times ear ossicles bones are also included with skull. So if you look at the internal structure of the ear, so this is the outer ear. So this portion is the outer ear. Then this portion is the middle ear and then you have the inner ear. The outer ear is often also known as the eardrum. So ear ossicles and the other bone is the hoid bone. So let us first talk about ear ossicles. These are the smallest bones of the body. Please remember this. Which are the smallest bones of the body? The ear ossicles bones. So where are they located? They are present in the middle ear. So somewhere in this portion. So there are three bones which are present in the middle ear, malleus, incus and steps. So here you can see the three bones. This is malleus, 
this is incurs and this is steps. So malleus, incurs, steps. So these three bones are together. They are very tiny bones and they are together termed as ear ossicles. Now what does these bones do? They help to transmit auditory information from the outer ear to the middle ear. So they amplify sound from eardrum which is outer ear to the inner ear. So they are the ear ossicles. And what is hoid bone? Okay, another important point is they are present in a small cavity inside the temporal bone. You remember I was talking about the temporal bone. If you look at uh, the slide on the cranial bones, you saw the green colored part of the um, skull which was present just above the ear. ear. So in that particular uh, bone, there is a small cavity where these ear ossicles are present. And what is hoid bone? So this is a single piece of bone which is U-shaped and it is present in the throat, near the throat area. In fact, it is present at the base of the oral cavity, so somewhere here. So this structure which you see, the U-shaped structure, this is the hoid bone. And the below structure which you see that goes to the larynx. So then you know where exactly it is located and this is your oral cavity. So just at the base of the oral cavity you have the hoid bone. So this is the bone which actually connects the skull to the parts below the skull. So this because of these reasons since they are very close to the location of skull. So hoid bone and ear ossicles are considered as part of the skull. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.